Welcome back to All Israel Debates, where we take a deep dive into something that Israeli society is divided about. Today we'll discuss the two-state solution, which means a Palestinian state next to the state of Israel within the Israeli borders. This has been one of the most polarizing issues for Israelis since the establishment of Israel in 1948. But have the events of October 7th changed things? Gidon Sal, a member of the Blue and White Central Left Party, who has joined the coalition since the war broke out, tweeted this on his X page, I'm quoting, even supporters of the two-state solution, which is fiction in my opinion, need to understand what unilateral international recognition of a Palestinian state means. This is not a Palestinian state in an agreement to end the conflict. This is a Palestinian state with the continuation of the conflict under improved conditions for them without them relinquishing the right of return of the refugees and their aspiration for the entire land from the river to the sea. Now what's also interesting to note is that Sal also said in a recent interview, and I quote, I expect all members of the government to express an unequivocal position against the idea of a Palestinian state, which is a vial of poison. A quick deduction will indicate that his words were not aimed at the right-leaning members of the coalition, but actually at the leaders of his own party, Benny Gantz and Gadi Eisenkot, which is stirring up the Israeli political left. Another sign of a shift or at least a re-evaluation that many on the left are going through regarding the idea of a Palestinian state comes from another left-leaning Knesset member, Idan Roll, who said, and I quote, the Palestinian Authority proves time and time again that anti-Semitism and hatred of Israel are institutionalized themes, both in Palestinian schools and official institutions. This is not dependent on any situation and is not a response to anything Israel did or does. This is an ideology cloaked in supposedly official and professional mechanisms. We will not replace one anti-Israeli organization with another. Roald is speaking about the notion of replacing Hamas leadership in Gaza with the PA, the Palestinian Authority. A statement like that would be rare for a left-leaning politician before the 7th of October. But now, an opinion like that is easily embraced despite the fact that the head of Idan Roll's party, Yair Lapid, says that he is still in favor of a Palestinian state even after the events of the 7th of October. Bini Ashkenazi, the legal correspondent for the popular Wala News website, articulated a notion that is shared by many in politics, media, and the general public. And I quote, since the outbreak of the disaster on October 7th, I have been at an ethical crossroad. Until the disaster, I supported the two-state solution. But the war is causing me to re-examine my opinions, mainly due to the fact that without Jewish settlements in the Gaza Strip, as it currently is in the West Bank, we do not have real security control over Palestinian terror organizations. And what's happening on the political right? Of course, most of the people on the right feel proven right for the refusal of a Palestinian state, but many also feel resentment towards the left who still haven't fully abandoned this, this idea. Here's what religious Zionism party member Ohad Tal recently said, and I quote, Establishing a Palestinian state is a prize for terrorism, a prize for the despicable murderers of October 7th. It will whet the appetite of all of Israel's neighbors in the region who are waiting for the right opportunity to harm us, to engage again with withdrawals in handing over territory for those who seek to destroy us, and in bringing the threat closer to the central cities of Israel is, a deep, is the deepest folly there is. So while many Western governments are still pushing for a two-state solution, we see Israeli politics, thought leaders, and segments of the general public gradually moving away from this notion that a two-state solution side by side will bring peace. Thank you for joining us on All Israel Debates. Please like this video if you liked it and visit us on allisrael.com.